I'm gonna do one more video about McDougal passing and that's it. Just because I've been getting a lot of strange DMs, I've got a lot of crazy comments and I wanted to kind of clear things up. Well, I don't know what, what happened, but I wanted to just kind of get my thoughts out there on everything. So a couple of people, actually more than one, I'm shocked, more than one persons have messaged me on Instagram saying that they don't believe that he would pass that this it's some kind of hoax or whatever. Okay, fine. Either way, he is dead to the public, right? He's not going to be seen in the public anymore. Then you've got people saying that he did, you know, the experiment and I, and he I think he did. I think he claimed that in one of his videos and that's why he's not here anymore. Then you've got others coming on my channel saying, well, the potatoes killed him. If you eat potatoes for long enough, you're gonna pass away. It, it's just ridiculous. And then, then somebody else was talking about how Pritikin and McDougal both died young, whatever that means. You know, like I still maintain that I don't think that we change the day we go here, no matter what we do. I think what created us is going to know everything that we are going to do in our life, or there's the other opinion that you choose what you need to do here before you get here, you sign a contract, and you have to fulfill that no matter what you do. Either one could be correct. So I don't really I like the idea, because the evolutionary thing, I mean, come on. We evolved from like these fish things that can't even, I mean, come on, come on. I mean, if you, if you believe that, I you know. Um, so it's it's somewhere in this realm, right? The, the the idea that you can change your checkout date, I I don't know. I don't really believe in that one. So you got all of this, and then you got the people saying, well, Pritikin and McDougal died young. First of all, Pritikin shot himself in the head. Probably the reason he died. Second of all, I mean, we could legitimately be doing dealing with two shots here, right? One experimental and one from a projectile, right? So that could be, you know, that is that, that is a legitimately could be the case. Either way, either way, it really doesn't matter because most of these people who are making these claims, who are commenting on this kind of thing, they have helped nobody in this in this realm, maybe not even themselves. But if you look at the people that we're talking about here, they have helped thousands, if not millions of people in some capacity. McDougal did this for over 40 years. Pritikin, I think, did it for over 40 years as well. And I think at one point had 10,000 people at his center, from what I've read. I don't know, I wasn't there. So really think about this before we're making all these crazy comments here about how many people that they actually helped <laughs> and how many people the commenters have actually helped comparatively. So I mean, this is not throwing shame or anything like that, but this is the idea of they at least went for it. They at least did what they knew that they were here to do. And if you are just a sideline warrior not doing anything, I would really look at that more than if it's a conspiracy, no matter what happened to them, it really, you know, it doesn't matter. And here's the thing, like if you can't change the day you pass, at least you can change your life quality while you're here. At least you can get off the 42 medications that some of these people are. I, you know, back when I used to do insurance, I used to have to go to people's houses when I did like residential, uh, not residential, but like non-commercial in-person in house was like 2002 to 2006 or seven, right? And I could not believe, I mean, they would come out with these huge containers of pills and I'm like, this is no way to live. So at least they helped people get off of that life and into a life where they're not on pills like that 24 hours a day. They don't need a schedule book to know what pills they're taking and what time they're taking them. At least they got people off of that. So if nothing else. They helped thousands of people at least reclaim some of their life get back some kind of health that they had. Yeah, and a lot of people like to point out the fact that the people on McDougal's stuff, they don't ever get, you know, super trim or whatever. Is that the goal? Is that their goal? It, 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 you know, it, if you're an older person, if you're 72, is your goal really your bikini body anymore or do you want to just feel healthy? You know? I, I mean, didn't he work with like Carl Lewis or whatever, the, the, Olympic, uh, uh, the Olympic runner? 
I mean, he was ripped, right? I, I mean, it's just, I, I don't know. I, 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 you know, it's just, it's irritating to see all this. And yeah, I mean, anything could be faked these days. Who knows? Who knows? It could have been kind of the uh, situation with, uh, what's his name, the, uh, Arnold Errett you know, who forgot how to walk in a new pair of shoes and fell down a hill or a, a slippery, you know. It could be that situation. Who knows? I, I don't know. Gerson went out the same way. His soup was, was all, uh, you know, killed him. So, I mean, it could be the same thing. I don't know. But the bottom line is he at least helped people. He at least did what he wanted, to, or he was here to do. I would venture to guess that most people are complaining about their job, can't stand their job, because they're not doing what you're here to do. Why don't you concentrate on that and not a person, and not throw blame, you know, the, the potato killed everybody. You know, like, it's ridiculous. Why don't you concentrate on the fact that this dude helped thousands of people and you are at your job hating your job. <laughs> this is like the same people that buy, I, I don't, do they still exist like the tabloids and, and watch the, uh, the celebrities? I couldn't even name a celebrity practically anymore. It's it, it just like, what are you doing? You know, like, I, I don't know. It's, it's irritating to, to see, you know. I don't want to lose a thousand subscribers off this either, but like just, it just, this dude helped a lot of people, a lot of people. Now there's some things that I don't agree. I really think that he needed to talk about hydration more, especially with starch. I think his stance on fruit was absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I lost the majority of my weight eating fruit. Majority of my weight came from banana, uh, weight loss came from bananas, dates, watermelon during watermelon season, mango during uh, mango season. Uh, and whatever other seasonal fruits that I would add to it, uh, persimmons, where most of it came from. But, you know, the, the, the it's just ridiculous. Just let him, just know that he helped thousands of people in some capacity, and that I still maintain, I don't think we can change the day we leave here, no matter what diet you assume. People are going to say, well, yeah, well, people can smoke and do all this kind of other stuff. Do you really think that the creator that put you on this planet didn't know that that's what you were going to do or didn't, or if you do create your own schedule of coming here, like Loris Cannon talks about, do you really think that you didn't know that that was going to be a part of your existence here? So that is probably the last video I'm going to make about that. Yeah, it's just, he did a lot, whether he truly passed, whether he was taken out, whether if it was the experiment, you know, it's all hearsay at this point. Anyway, uh, comments, questions down below, like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one.